So um, creating content that is inherently shareable, not necessarily the most amount of likes or comments, but like creating content that people share with their friends on those on the social platforms is so valuable to that algorithm. And memes, for some reason, people love sharing memes. So we grew really fast. I mean, I think we went from you know zero to six hundred thousand in like two and a half years. So oh wow, and that that was algorithmically, you know, for like. For a while, you, you go, you know, 100, 100, 100, 100, 200, 200, 200. But then, like, when you're at the 600 level, like, you're fluctuating thousands of people every day, both up and on follows. Um, but, that's that's you know, incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, no, I always say, you know, no one remembers a boring brand. And, you know, like, have right. fun with your marketing. Right. And, like, don't be boring. Because no one remembers, like, here's my ebook. you know, like, right. Making right. customers like laugh and feel some sort of emotion, like you know, can really, really drive you know brand affinity. And um, at that point, we were only B two C. Like, I just wanted to develop a relationship with our customers, and that was such a great channel for just communicating with where they were. Like, a lot of people still turn to Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter for or X for for content recommendations, you know. And so, what are their friends talking about? What are their friends excited? And so, we built native. Um, like sharing features on the app um, so that if you found a movie that you really liked to share it from our app to Instagram and it would deep link to that content on our page. And so it was just like, um, we tried to tie the two very tightly together as, as often as we could and it worked great. It was a good strategy for us.